Hi, this is Gareth from theysemiescrolling.com and the next mod that I'm going to cover here is quite a large one. Uh, it's based around the pricing and you know, the buying and selling of the scrolls that you have. Now, the uh, most obvious thing that it does, um, sorry, it's called Scrolls Post, by the way, and it's made by Shadowed. Now, um, the first thing is you may be able to see is that it adds pricing within a, a trade window so you can see um, what the, the going price is for the scrolls that you have and also what you may be purchasing as well. Now all of this is extracted from live chat and um, they go into for the detail about how we achieve these um, prices um, and making sure that the prices themselves aren't redundant or being fixed um, on their website um, and also they've just posted to Reddit as well. Um, now it's, I think it's in line with the trade window, I think it is. But yeah, the most obvious thing that you can see here is the pricing. But if you happen to be, let's end this chat here, um, if you happen to be in a trading window and somebody's offering to buy or sell a particular um, scroll, what you're going to look to do is you can do PC, so which is price check, say divine mark for instance. Now the commands themselves should be appearing. Now divine mark, I can see up here, was there quite a lot there that I've missed? Yeah, I think there was quite a lot. Um, divine mark, the suggested price is 195, buy 180, sell 205. So what you'd be looking around is just to see whether somebody else has actually um, posted that for right at that price. Um, unfortunately, there's quite a few going through here, so that's not really worked so well. And um, what you can do is you can do a price check over a certain period of time as well. So whether that's one hour, one day, three days, or seven days, you just change that via the um, commands that you're actually entering in. So price check hyphen one hour brings me nothing because I've not asked it to uh, look at anything. So divine. Now you can actually shorten the uh, the names here, so you don't have to do say divine mark or you know potion of resistance. You can just do potion um, of. Uh, but the less you information you, you give, like for instance, if you just put S, then it could be any number of scrolls that you actually would be uh, looking at there or bring up, and it certainly may not be the, the one you're actually looking for itself. So uh, that's an excellent thing to start off with. So not only can you see the prices within trade, but you can also pinpoint individual um, prices based off overall um, trade window costs <clears throat> and, and then approach somebody with a better idea of exactly what price the, the particular scroll is. Now the other aspect of this is that if you were to open up the primary window, this is the configuration. So you can see the default period price, so it shows you over what period that you're actually going to see the prices within the trade window. Um, but also what you can do is, is you, if you have a scrolls post account, you can sync the details of your scrolls so how much scrolls you have and um, with their website. Now what that essentially allows you to do is once you've registered. Now an important point here is you um, you don't need to specify um, your username and password for your scrolls account. And what you'd basically be doing is you create an account on the website for a specific for their particular username and password and then you'd use that username and password within the game to log into this so that syncs it that way I think that's how it works and um, hopefully I've not made any mistakes there but what the, the site itself does it's very useful and um, by itself is that you'd have the prices of all the, the various um, scrolls with the search, op search, blah, 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 search options at the top <clears throat> over certain periods of time um, you can do an individual card search to find out more information about it. Now it comes up with the actual uh, scroll icons there. But what you can do is you can click on the, the scroll itself. There we go. That will give you the data over the last seven days of the buy and sell 
and unit stats, which is very interesting. Trade chat, what people have been trying to sell it for. And also, and this is the lead on to the next thing, is whether anybody is actually trying to sell those and what they're selling at. Now, because you've actually synced up your scrolls to this website, so you've obviously got the trade chat there, which is sort of limit again what's been happening with the stuff generally, and also the card store, so you can go through overall what uh, people are selling. And but what you can do is, is you can create your own store, and you can sell these. Now you can have this as private or public. And now the thing is, I put this up to um, private at the moment because I don't want to sell any of my scrolls. And what you can do is you can look at your collection. Again, do searches. Uh, these prices here are um, are based off again all the trade um, checks. You can alter what it is that you want to buy or sell these at. Um, I've got here. I've got, I've got a one ancestral totem, five binding root, and six blast strike. I want to sell six blast strike. I want to um, buy five binding root and one ancestral totem. But I think I also want to buy two beast rats. I update that. I look back at my store. Leave the page, and you can see there that I also have now added beast rat as an item that I want to buy and priced it at five. I want to buy two at 50 gold. So that is, is, is absolute quality. So you can see exactly what prices are and you can also set up your own store to allow you to sell it. Now the, the other stats you can set up here is what your in-game name is. I think uh, settings, let's go to the settings here. So you've got your my email address and um, passwords, in-game channel. So you can go to a particular channel so see me scrolling whether you wish whether you'll haggle and whether this is public or not so save go to my store again and it shows you my in-game channel there so again this is excellent so you could have this and just say look if you want to check out stuff go to go to uh, you know, whether it's in Reddit or uh, forums or so on, everything is linked up here and you're getting the prices that you want for the scrolls that you want to sell. So um, on whole, excellent. Uh, really do like this one. Um, check it out yourself. It's just been updated to allow for the stores and to sync up. So uh, give it a go. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching.